All right. Finally, let us end this. I'll be awaiting you in my temple. Come, our uh, temple. Come, witness true power. And the runs actually get longer. I appreciate that, frankly. All right. And these start higher levels. So Apostates Cleaver 4 and Divine Blast 4. Okay, let's break these in case any of them have anything useful. I know we need grass no matter what. Block is ready for another sermon. Oops. Okay. I get you. Yeah, I'm just gonna repeatedly smack this guy. Watch, you think you're charging up an attack bomb. Music get really creepy. Oh, hello. Your persistence is beginning to annoy me, little lamb. You may think yourself clever. You may think yourself righteous in your service to him. But you should not be so trusting of the chained one. Oh, well, it's too late for talk. One such as you deserves so uh, no deserves no absolution. This will not end well for you. Oh. Get rid of the ranged one. Just smack the lot of them. And we're good. Get out of the way of the bat. Get rid of it. Out of the, the way of that. And we're good. Easy peasy. Thank you for all them bones. I was going to have to collect them otherwise. Ooh. Almost missed that one. Got it. Hey, thank you, uh, Azerath, for the 54-month reset. Morning, everyone. Good morning. It's good. It is a good morning. The afternoon looks like it's going to be heck, but morning is nice. So what are you? Oh, I can chop the tree down. Sure. That has some bit big damage. Heck yeah. I'm really curious what the spider hearts mean. I'm not sure what these spike guys are good for or n not good for. They're just kind of they're just kind of there. Maybe that's kind of the point that trying to attack them is a little risky, but so far I've mostly just demolished them. Whoop. Okay, snag any of this. Nope. Nope. Boop. Alright, and I think we're good. I like the combat system for this game. Followers will never sleep. Moon necklace, that's interesting. Oh, so it's it's like an accessory I can put on one of them. That's neat. Seems like if you don't hit the bones when you're they're on the ground, you gain more. Uh, maybe? I don't know. Let's just spawn better chests. Especially for a longer run like this. Love that it has no contact damage. Yes! No, I, contact damage is by and far like my least favorite mechanic in almost any game. That's interesting. Oh no, I can go go here. We haven't yet to do a house. I'm not sure what that house means. Uh, we have lumber. We have fights. We also have a mystery. I'm thinking we do house, person, question mark. Hungry, I have what you need. So berry bush seeds, salmon, or just meat. We're gonna get the meat. Delicious, enjoy, traveler, die. Aha. Aha. Oops. You dare touch my love. That's interesting. I wonder if you can keep hitting them. I got like a uh, little red crowns out of that. I'll hit it more later. We fought them off as best as we could. I'm the only one that survived. Darkwood is was once a safe place. Uh, 
Okay, so we now have a follower waiting indoctrination. Don't worry. Oh, camellia flowers. Got it. Don't worry, I will clean up the mess. Thank you. Your friends and family's bones will aid me in my quest. What is this? Peace be with you, Crusader. I seek only the truth and the light, but I may be of service to you. I can increase the loyalty of any follower you choose. Oh, cool. So we can just boost anybody. Uh, frankly... I'm thinking actually Barbados. My work is done. This fool would, al would follow you into the deepest darkness from whence no one returns. Alright, and then we do a little bit of cleanup, because I don't know what Camellia is for, but I want as much as I can snag. Now is that it? Wow, that's a short run. I, I guess if you go for the right uh, map nodes, you straight up just like, don't fight anything. We still have uh, one final level, but still. I guess it's not like we really need much for power-ups. Probably. There we go. I'm just trying to get rid of these dudes. Oop. There we go. And yeah, the spike guys literally just exist. That's, in, that's their entire job. To just pop up and be kind of in the way. Well, all things considered, works out fine for me. I don't see anything for those, uh, for hitting that, like, slug. I was afraid there was going to be consequences. Hello. Hey, kiddo, keep your eyes off my fishies. Oh my god, his mouth is on his <laughs> the top of his head. That took a little bit. There ain't enough for both of us. The best fishing can be found in Pilgrim's Passage. Or is that you say? Let me show you. So you can just go... Uh, you can just go fishing now. Neat. See? Now get out of here. But first, I must steal your fish. Okay, so let's track that quest. Not that it matters too much. Oh, that bird just winked out of existence. Wait, fish basket. Give me some on. Okay, let's keep looking around. This level's decently big. Oh, there's even a, a boosted dude. Okay. This guy chases me around. But not too much. Snag these. Break everything. Like, at some point, we're going to get to the point where I no longer need to. But right now, I will break everything for anything. Alright. Looks like we're good. This map is, uh, twisty. Oh. Please don't be the... Or don't force me to go through the door. Okay, looks like you're, I'm good. I can go back. Because I very much would like to clear the whole map out. He was unlike the rest of his kin. For others who dealt with flux, chaos, famine, pestilence, war. Things with which in their constancy must transpose. And yet he was the inevitable, the obstinate, and the irresistible. The one who waits. Truly peculiar. It would seem his appetency to invite the novel and the new, break ancient vow and primordial bond alight. Traditions stagnate and appetites augment nonetheless. Doubt tears faith asunder. Now I wonder if they're specifically talking about the one who waits. Probably. I wonder if the entire point of the one who, who waits is he is supposed to symbolize death. Ish. Okay, so what's he got? Let's do damages everything on screen when you get hit. Uh, largely because... Uh, we're going into the boss fight. I have a couple of spider hearts. My my thoughts are, 
Worst comes to worst, I just get clobbered a bunch and it hurts them as much as it hurts me? Question mark? And eh, it's probably not going to work that way, but still. Reminds me of my fiance's philosophy when playing Lego games. Yeah, I haven't played a Lego game with Shell in like a long time. We tried playing uh, Lego Lord of the Rings a while back. But like got stuck in the um, the first uh, Ring Wraith fight. I grow tired of you, little lamb. Time to put an end to this frivolous masquerade. Oh, he getting branchy. Oh, boy. Those are some nice 3D effects. Sup, Leshy? Alright, so I'm gonna lightly just try and pay attention to what he's up to. It looks like he's just a hyper-advanced boss, uh, boss variant of what we've already fought and, and massed before. Oh, good. It also looks like uh, he can 100% friendly fire his goons. Okay, stay away from the spikes as they hurt. It looks like when I hit him, by the way, we get bones. I love the music for this area. Whoops. Ow. And I can just roll through that. Oops. Just keep smacking him around. Yeah, this is easy peasy. Still no contact damage. Oh, it's good feelings. Oh, he actually does have a melee attack. Okay, stay in a safe place. These things are kind of everywhere. And almost seems like it's in my best interest to just blast him. Here's the thing, still haven't taken much damage, so I could 100%... Whoops. How have I still not taken any hits yet? Like, I, I took that one, but I, I'm like, just, he's missing. Anyway, we get a Heart of the Heretic. Gross. I wonder if we get to refight him ever. You have taken the beating heart of a heretic. The Red Crown can feast upon this heart to unlock new crown abilities. Visit the altar in your temple to unleash the true power of the Red Crown. Okay, get a shit ton of money. Uh, acquired the Darkwood Animal type. Still no crab yet. I think we'll get that from the Squid region. Leshy trophy. More decorations. But yeah, my hitbox is shockingly small, which is something that I appreciate to no end. Because I was, I was playing really bold there by the end, because I was like, whatever, if I take damage, it's not like it's going to one-shot me. Alright, we get that, we get goodies, we clear the whole place. And we get extra resources. Heck yeah. Leshy fell before you like a grain of sand before a tidal wave. Well, that was quick. So is this the full release? Uh, sort of. It's a preview version of the full release. What is a shepherd without a flock? very happy about this. Alright, first and foremost, 
So it looks like we have six worship spots, by the way. That's a lot of divine inspiration. Damn. Hello, dear boy. Convert me to your cult. Okay, so they have... Gain 10 faith when falling ill and easier to... Uh, easier to level up. I like it. There you go, tiger. I know there's Twitch integration. I feel like I should probably turn that on, but I don't know. Or... Oh. Looks like I have to rebuild the beds on the regular. How many people do I have? I have six and I've made seven beds. It looks like folks are getting a little hungry. Didn't I assign you to be my farmer? Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, Barbados. Interact. Give a blessing. Barb Barbados. Barbados. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Here you go. Give gift. I have big gift. Okay, so, it does not look like I want to give big gifts when they're just about to level. Better to give that at the start of their setup rather than the end. Yuck, this place is gross. If you don't clean this up, someone will get sick. Well, thank you for that. Give blessing. Okay. Get plenty of camellias, sacrifice them next. It's probably gonna be a little bit before I start sacrificing people wholesale. Now, am I getting the berry bush seeds off of these harvests? I am. So you can do mostly sustainable farming, it looks like. Okay. I wonder... no? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Does not really matter, but yeah, let's let's just clear this out and we're gonna need to make food for everybody. Probably? And yeah, I have a quest to clean the poop. Hello, poop. Yeah, I want to get a janitor at some point. I mean, I more or less want every role filled. Okay, where's the last of the poop? Freaking sneaky poopers. I'm just gonna clean the rest. That might have actually been it. I'm not seeing any other sneaky, sneaky dookie lurking around. Grab this. So what do we have? Shelter, offering shrine. Followers can leave offerings in honor. Holds naughty followers. Follower will generate wood, stone. Send them out to gather resources, but they might not come back alive. Prevents birds from sealing the seeds from farm plots within range. Oh! That's interesting in shelter. More stable shelter will, will collapse less often. Interesting. I'm going to start with the offering statue. Tabernacle. Place for followers who are not worshipping to pray throughout the day and deposit devotion. Interesting. Okay. Oh, it's under faith. It's right front and center. Right there. Uh, I'll put it here. I don't think I need to be that efficient with my spacing. But yeah, let's let's get this let's get this built. So what else do we have? Visit Pilgrim's Passage, unlock a crown ability, right. And get a crown uh or crown, get the reward from Hap. And then before I go off on my next mission, I should probably cook. There we go. 
So, Hap. I interrupted Hap. That's interesting. Wow, you did it. Truly, you're without flaw. I'm uh, uh, grateful to you, leader. Hey, and he levels up. Gets me a bunch of devotion and a shard. Okay, here's the other thing. Oh, I've already blessed Hap. Never mind then. You don't interrupt people, but that makes sense. The kind of game that in the 80s would create the satan satanic panic. Kind of. I think the thing is, stuff like the satanic panic could be created with literally anything. Um, like, I knew, I knew people that believed in, in, like, Dungeons and Dragons leading to Satanism and stuff. And I can tell you right now that they very, like, the, the people that legitimately believed that that's the truth, uh, believed a lot of other stupid shit, like, Pokemon being satanic. And, like, I remember, uh, you know, talking with kids whose parents believed as such, uh, ooh, six stones if I want to make a tabernacle. Do I? You know what? Let's actually just go help this guy. Let's free him from clearing this giant rock pile. Um, but like, I remember we were on a, on a road trip through California, and there was, like, nothing going on, so we figured, whatever, we'll turn on the radio. But this is, like, in the early 2000s, and I guess radio coverage wasn't that great. Um... But I, I very distinctly remember we ended up on a station with this dude just railing about uh, all the different ways that Pikachu is somehow indicative of the Antichrist. And it was just absolutely n nonsense. Uh, you know, here I am playing Pokemon and I'm just confused because it made no sense to me. But yeah. Pokemon, Digimon, uh, Harry Potter. Oh yeah, my uh, my second grade teacher. Uh, let's see, dropping valuable resources, vomiting instantly. Interesting. Illness, some other stuff. It seems like the hearty meat broth is probably worthwhile, but still, let's yeah, let's get a tabernacle down. can flip it. Looks sassy. Wait, I have to look at this. Why does it have an AoE? Place for your followers to pray. The shrine will hold deve devotion they create. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, why does it have an AoE? I guess just so it has room to do stuff. I'm going to just put it in line. I kind of like having these be... Like, a linear... Uh, up and down for whatever reason. Oh, what was I going to say? What was the other thing? Uh, oh, right. Second second grade teacher read the first chapter of Harry Potter, but you could see, like, she hadn't read what Harry Potter was about at all. Like, she had no idea what she was reading. Um, but she got through, like, part of the first chapter and into the second, closed the book in the middle of, like, reading time, and said, I can't read this anymore. It's evil. And then that was just it. And it was so baffling. Um, you know, me nowadays realizes that she's just stupid and, you know, not very open-minded. But at the time, I was just, like, confounded as to why anybody would be, like, bothered by it. Because as far as I could tell, it was fine. Sold out unlocked follower forms. Ooh. So maybe I, I can get some more? We'll see. I guess I might as well mine resources while we're here. Yeah, people like your teacher scare me. They can't tell reality from fiction. She was not a smart woman. At all. Um, like... Like, specifically, um... I remember we would do these timed math tests. And what you were supposed to do is do the timed math test. And then draw a line um, that said, like, okay, this is where I stop. Uh, or, you know, this is, this is where I ran out of time. Um, and so you'd, you'd go for, like, a minute or two minutes or something like that. And then draw a line and just see how far you got. 
as kind of a challenge for doing math in your head rather quickly. I remember those time tests. Yeah. And so you you draw a line saying like this is this is where I stopped uh to um you know to say like you know I I finished 30 problems in 2 minutes or something like that. And then I would continue on because I wanted to keep doing math because you weren't allowed to do it out of order. I tried doing it out of order at one point. I started with the hardest problems first and worked my way to the top, uh, which I enjoyed because I was a reasonably smart kid and I'm really good at math, or at least used to be, um, you know, back in an education setting. And so it was one of those where it was like, I wanted to do the hard problems and she got mad at me for it. Wah! Who dares enter a sacred house of light? Apologies. It's just that the lighthouse is getting dimmer no matter how hard we worship and the ships keep sinking on the rocks. No ships means no, no new pilgrims to walk the sacred path. If only our leader was here, she would know what to do. We've not seen her since she went for a walk on the pier late one night. We begged her not to go. We all know of the teeth in the darkness, but she would not listen. Now we have no choice but to pray until the lighthouse is lit once more. All hail the mighty light. I am pretty sure I just have to add fuel. Ah, our prayers have been answered. Thank you, O Bright One, for sending this lamb to save us. Now the pilgrims will return to our shores. For restoring the light, we pledge ourselves to you. We are your unholy, un unholy, unworthy servants, mighty lamb. We will pray to you and your great light on this shrine. Please bathe in our adoration. I guess I'll just have to come back and s snag devotion from this every once in a while. Guide us, oh mighty light. Cool, so I'll just have to come back and grab stuff from this. And it's also lit now. I don't know if that gets us anything else. I guess they just kind of wander around. Oh, they have all sorts of stuff. One of the bishops of the old faith dead. I didn't think it was possible. Did you hear? Leshy was slaughtered. Never liked him. We pledge ourselves, oh lamb of the light. Oh great light. What do you know about tarot cards? I cannot use them myself, but I find them often when walking by the sea. Even though they're half drowned or buried in the sand, they do not tear a warp. Isn't that odd? Some say the cards reveal fate. I say the cards are 25 coins each. Interested? Harvest bonus resources. Projectile when you swing your weapon. Ooh. Or more damage during the day. Interesting. I once had a lover who went to the sea and never came back. They used to lay flowers by my door. Flowers suit the young and beautiful best. They have no place for me. Please buy them. They only bring sadness now. So we can also buy aesthetic stuff, but that's later. So we should talk to the fishy guy and then I'll go back to talking about things. Well, look what the tide dragged in. What are you standing there for? I'm going to f think I'm going to fish for you. I'm not one of your mindless ac acolytes. Fish. Old fish. All right. Is there a schedule? Um. There we go. Looks like I might want to tap tap it. Oh, I got a crab? Hmm, not so useless after all. Listen, perhaps we could help one another. I would have caught some extremely valuable treasures in my time. Things like that fish are, or uh, fish like me, or I mean, a fisherman like me has no use for. But you, well, you look like you could use valuable things. Below these waves lurk some of the hardest to catch beasts that ever lived, and I've been trying for years. You can snag them, these treasures are yours. Get me a crab, a lobster, an octopus, and a squid. Take this as a gesture of good faith between two non-fish friends. Enemies have a chance to drop a fish. Hell yeah. Okay, uh, brr, what was I talking about with my teacher back in the day? Right! Holy big fish. Oh, not big fish. Regular one. Uh, anyway, so for these timed math tests, uh, specifically, we were, uh, we were supposed to draw this line to signify, like, hey, this is, this is kind of your stopping point. Um, or this is where you stopped. Well, I kept going, like, I draw the line, but then I keep going because I wanted to see... You know, if I could do the harder math problems, because those were more interesting. And, you know, I wasn't allowed to do things out of order. She caught me once, and instead of thinking, boy, this is a kid that wants to, uh, wants to do math, and really likes learning, she got 
furious at me that I would dare do things without her permission. Uh, hey, we've, hey, so this is where we get the uh, crab form. Yes, I'm going to fish until I have crab people. Um, but she, she legitimately was like furious at me because I wasn't following instructions or whatever. And, um, and actually like called the principal to come lecture me outside of class, like outside the classroom where everybody could see to tell me why what I had done was bad. And like, this is the same teacher that thought Harry Potter was evil. And so at this point I already had a really low opinion of this lady because the other thing was I had moved school districts like midway through the year and uh because I had moved from New Mexico to to California and I remember not having any respect for her to begin with and so this was not really like the straw that broke the camel's back on my like overall perception of her but it was definitely just kind of like wow this lady is just brain dead stupid and the poor principal was like trying to teach me about the meaning of following directions and some other stuff and I'm just like this is a school I'm here to learn uh I should be learning and doing math what is any of this and I think at that point I just like lost all interest in interacting with them let's do harvest bonus resources but yeah, I, I, that was the point where I realized that school, uh, in a lot of cases, is not about actually teaching people um, to be smart, but instead teaching them to uh, follow directions, I guess. Oh gosh, my people are very hungry. Your followers are starving. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, hearty meat broths for everybody. Okay, and one fish one? Yes. There we go, cook. I've brought food. Are they all sleeping? Excuse me. Okay. So maybe I should not disturb them as such. Okay, we have a divine inspiration. Okay, collect divine inspiration. What do we get next? Uh, let's see, basic decorations, prison. I'm thinking probably shelter. Or, no, let's grab the scarecrow at this point. <laughs> and again, you're a devil worshiper playing Pokemon, so I can see why she's mad at you. That's, uh... I think that's actually literally before Pokemon came out. Though I was playing other video games. <laughs> I was playing Red Alert. Do we piss them off? You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna piss this one off. Be mad. Eat food. Psst, leader, rumor has it that Valifar is a spy sent by the enemy cult. To undermine your great power, you should speak with them and see what they have to say for themselves. Oh wait, I know how to wake my people up. Okay, followers are no longer starving. I don't have to worry about the faith bits. So let's uh, crown upgrades. Oh, here we go. So we actually have some options. Receive a diseased heart at the beginning, beginning of every run. Focus while on a crusade run to instantly return to base. Once a day, eat a meal to receive bonus heart. Uh, I care not for most of these. Declare a new doctrine. So what can we do? Sustenance. Instruct them on their liturgy, uh, on the liturgies surrounding their daily bread. Death is not the end. Labor and love. Obedience, possessions. Eh, let's do sustenance first. Okay. Perform a ritual at your temple to declare a fast. Followers will not eat or be hungry for three days. Or feasting ritual. Throw a grand feast for your followers to refill their hunger and gain 25 faith. I don't... Let's do the ritual fast.
Actually, no, screw it. Let's get the feasting ritual. We have plenty of resources, probably. Okay. So that costs bones. Okay, so rituals and doctrine. So this is just to see them. So we have afterlife, work and worship, possessions, law and order, and then sustenance. Boy, there's a bunch of these. So do we have other things we can do? So that's on cooldown. Um, what else can we get? I don't know what these are. I guess I'm just going to get the hunger. Okay, crown ability, eat a meal, bonus heart, sermon. There we go. Yeah, I can't tell if the uh, the feeding feast. I I wish the sermon imagery or iconography was different from the um. Oh, I see it. They're sleepy. Interact. Oh, I should probably bless them, then make them go to bed. Oh, well, it doesn't matter that much. So where do we... I wonder if I can give a gift. Well, I'm just going to give blessings for the time being. Okay. And considering... I just like Barbados. Excuse me, but... Bar Barbados, Barbados, Babidi Boo, Bibidi Bobbidi Boo. Here we go. Give gift, moon necklace. Give to a follower to increase their loyalty. Follower will never sleep. Rad. I wonder if you can just stack upgrades on one. Hopefully. Okay, we don't have anything there. Talk to Valifar. Who is that? That's Egg, Tiger, Valifar. Hello, leader. What a beautiful day in paradise. And I might say you look extra glorious today. But first, read mind. Fish soup, sermon, saw, po saw poop. Okay, we have to go find Hap. Oh, Hap's asleep, ain't, ain't Hap. Shoot. Well, I could wait until he's awake again. Otherwise, we could just say good enough. Okay. Just fill this out the rest of the way. I'm like just barely running out of seeds. I don't think it matters. Uh, We'll go turn in this follow request next time. Okay, uh, right. This is not where I want to go. This is where I want to go. Sleep is for the unfaithful. Exactly. So now that we've done this, what do we do? So there's one of the chains. I bet we have to, we have to fight the one who waits. Your godly blood was spilled. Here did death no longer wish to wait. Anger Deep is locked. Oh, hello. Hello, you have so many mouths to feed, you must need some seeds. A cold leader is always good for business. So many hungry fo followers with growling tummies. I'll just set up here. And if you're in need of crops, you know where I am. You don't mind, do you? So, seed shop. So we can buy berry bush or camellia seeds. Cool. Oh, and I need another person if I can get that door open. Got it. What does Scarecrow require? A shit ton of wood and gold, which I do not have. Okay, I think I need to make like a little bit more food. Uh, so I'm just going to make one more. Oh, right. I actually have to minigame this. Well, that's fine. Where the heck did Barbados go? I was just rolling around. Well, I'm just going to do a run. There's probably ways that I could be slightly more efficient with my time, but I don't think it matters that much. 